everyone, it's me, Yeni, and Yeni's Beauty Show is a new content for my channel, which is a beauty related content. So, first of all, I want to thank all of you for 5,000 subscribers! And thank you so much for supporting me everywhere or anything I do. And because of that, I've decided to make a beauty show because it is one of the most highly requested content by all of you. And I actually really want to do this kind of content since I was little and yeah you guys made my dream come true and by the way i will only do voiceover for tutorials or get ready with me like this because you know right like i'm really talkative when i'm in front of the camera so it's going to trouble myself while editing so yeah let's get started so the first thing i will do before doing my makeup is prepping my skin with a clay mask from innisfree but before applying the clay mask, I will use my Innisfree Bija Trouble Skin Toner. After waiting for about 20 minutes, I will rinse off the clay mask with water and then I will reapply the toner on my skin. As I finish applying toner on my skin, I will use a sheet mask. This time, I'm using the Aloe Vera My Real Squeeze Mask by Innisfree. I want my face to get all the benefits from the mask, so I will use the remaining essence on my face first before applying it on my neck and hands. As I take off the sheet mask, I will apply the moisturizer on my face. Next, I will use the Tattoo Cherry Blossom Tone Up Cream to brighten up the tone of my skin. Now, I'm done with the skincare part and let's move on to the makeup part. As the base of my makeup, I'm using the Innisfree Water Fit Cushion Foundation and the shade name is N27 Sand. In case you are wondering why am I using so many Innisfree products, it's because only Innisfree suits my skin and I also don't know why. <laughs> I tried using drugstore products but drugstore products really irritate my skin so bad like I got redness and more breakouts and non-stop breakouts so only Innisfree goes well with my skin so yeah Innisfree <laughs> so next I'm using the Nocebo mineral powder to set the foundation on my skin Next, I'm using the Eye Primer by Fenty Beauty. For the eye makeup, I'm using my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And this is the brush that I always use to do my eyeshadow. So, for how I do my eyeshadow, I never did the same and it's always different all the time. As long as you start from the lightest shade to the darkest shade of the palette. I just pick any color that I want to use and then I just put it on my eyelid just like that. So yeah, you don't actually have to exactly follow what I do. So yeah. <laughs> so for me, doing your makeup is like using your creativity to create a look that will look good on your face. I never really follow any makeup tutorials because, you know right, everyone has different faces so if that type of makeup will look good on them, it doesn't mean it will look good on you so you just have to be creative and create your own look so that way you can actually find out what type of makeup look will look good on you so yeah, use your own creativity. For now, all of you are asking for 
a tutorial of how I usually do my makeup but I don't have any like actual steps that I do for my makeup it's just like I just randomly pick any color I like but since I have a beauty show now because of you guys I will try to create a specific makeup look and make a tutorial for it and you guys can directly just follow everything I do and yeah I will create a makeup look for you guys in the future Next, I'm doing my eyeliner and I'm using the Fenty Beauty eyeliner I bought so many different type of eyeliners before but so far this one is the best because it's really long lasting and easy to use At first, I bought it just for fun like the mini set that comes with the mini eye primer I was using just now But then I feel like it's actually pretty good so I decided to buy the bigger one And this is the part that everyone wants me to do a tutorial for since 3 to 4 years ago Yeah, since I haven't started YouTube yet and you guys can actually see, as I said, as I told you, I don't have any techniques and I just sketch it out like that. So yeah, you can actually see. That is why I don't know how to explain to you guys. I just draw it like that. <laughs> but my only tip is to do it until you're satisfied. So yeah, do it until you're satisfied. I guess it doesn't have to be perfect but just do it like if you're satisfied then it's fine it doesn't have to be perfect my main tip of doing makeup is be patient and take your time to do your makeup because rushing it won't do any good to your look and yeah I don't know if it's just me but I took about 3 to 4 hours to finish my makeup look So next, I'm using my Tartlet Flirt Palette Oh my god, it is so hard to pronounce it Tartlet Flirt Palette And it was, it not was but it is an eyeshadow palette but I use it to contour my face Well, I bought it for eyeshadow but I have my peach palette now so I don't use it anymore I only use it to contour my face because the brown shade works well to contour my face You guys don't actually have to buy a contouring powder or anything to contour your face You can just use your eyeshadow I guess or eyebrow pencil anything as long as it will work well with your skin so yeah yeah again i don't know how many times i've said yeah but yeah so the next next thing i'm doing is my eyebrow i'm using the ns free gray eyebrow pencil because you know right i have black hair why would i use a brown eyebrow pencil so yeah use gray it looks better and also for how i did my eyebrow i just redraw my own eyebrow just like that so yeah yeah again if you have time and you don't know what to do you can just count how many yes i have said and comment it down below so the next step is curling your eyelashes before and after applying your mascara For the second last part of my makeup look, I'm doing my lip makeup and I'm using the Gelatin Tint by Innisfree. Next, I'm using the Vivid Cotton Ink by Innisfree in the shade Cream Apricot Coral. I also use the Vivid Cotton Ink on my cheeks as a blusher because it appears more than the actual blushers. So, I always use lip products on my cheeks too. Next, I'm using the other shade of the Vivid Cotton Ink, which is the Coral Rose. Just like before, I use it on both my lips and my cheeks.
Finally, the last part is the highlighter. I'm using the Physician Formulas Highlighter. This is the only drugstore product that I find good enough for my makeup look. So yeah, I still use it. And ta-da! This is the final look and we're done with our Get Ready With Me video. Oh, and that is the highlighter. I don't show you the inside because it is broken. What?